Have you ever owned a plant? You know how when they don't have a lot of water, they wilt and they start really looking like they're gonna die, but you can give them water right up to the edge of the end and they perk back up. That's like self-love. After the show reel, I'm gonna show you how to really nourish yourself so even if you start wilting, you can really grow and blossom and flourish. <laughs> How do you nourish yourself? It starts as simple as the choices you make every day. Do you smile when you wake up? What do you choose to put in your body, right? Most of our cultures, especially kind of the first world cultures, we really get addicted to food. We start using it as a source of enjoyment, of entertainment. I mean, I know myself, there are some times when I'm with friends and there's food around, I just eat and eat and eat, and I'm not even consciously aware. Even when I know I'm eating something that I shouldn't be eating, sometimes I eat it anyway, right? Have you ever eaten something that you thought, oh, this prob I probably shouldn't eat this. This is probably a little too much and gotten a little bit over full. So this is a way of disconnecting, right? We're not actually aware of what our bodies truly want and need. So one of the biggest ways to self-love, first of all, is start nourishing yourself in the way you want to be nourished, putting yourself first. And this is the hardest thing. Women tell me all the time in my practice, like, I can't put myself first. I've got my kids, I've got my job, I've got my career, I can't lose my career, right? But the thing is, what can you give from an empty bucket? So first of all, write down, two things that you can do that only take five minutes or three or four or five things. Write down some things that take either no time or up to five minutes. So maybe that means meditation. Maybe that means you stand up in the middle of work and do five minutes of stretching. Maybe that means that when you go to the grocery store, you get really clear, you do some emotional freedom techniques work, or you write down a grocery list and you only buy what you know is nourishing for your body. So that way it helps you make good choices. That is a form of self-love and self-care. Maybe that means you go find massages or you go find a healer to help support you in that belief system, changing that belief system of I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, Everybody else has to come first because that's my responsibility. Remember that when you're doing everything for your children, yes, it's great and supportive, but if you're not taking care of your needs, you're also te taking, teaching them through example that they don't need to take care of their needs, that they don't need to put themselves first. Do you really want your kids to think that they're not worthy enough to put themselves first? To have a happy and joyful life and live to their highest and largest potential? You need to start now. So, drinking water, buying good food, going out in nature if that's what suits you, sitting on a park bench if that's what suits you, playing a couple of video games if that's what suits you, if that's what really nourishes you and makes you feel alive and rejuvenated, then do that. Maybe your, maybe your commitment to yourself is to stay off social media, to turn your phone off an hour after you get up and an hour before you go to bed and have no technology so you can just be present with yourself, your family, right? Like really be living, really experiencing. If you take away a couple hours of social media or, or television time every day, do you know how much freedom that gives you to really love and nourish yourself? So a couple other tips on my other channel, Touch Remedies, I've got an emotional freedom, an intro to emotional freedom techniques video that teaches you how to clear your negative emotions. So maybe you spend five minutes a day, even in the shower or driving home, tapping away the emotions or the lack of self-worth or the feeling of overwhelm or whatever it is that's challenging you. So you can find more self-love and more self-worth, right? And so that way every day you're nourishing yourself. You're nourishing your body. You're taking care of your health, right? Because you can run yourself down and go to the doctor or you can do something little every single day to maintain your health. It's a lot less expensive. You can use that money for other things. 
You're showing good examples for the people that you love, including any children that you may have or nieces or nephews. So nourish yourself. Be like that plant that's always growing, right? Like these lush trees here in Missouri. They've got so much water compared to where I just was at the desert, where like every cactus is struggling to survive. Do that for yourself. Make that commitment for yourself now. And when you can't recommit, watch one of my videos on how to recommit, how to have self-love, how to do emotional freedom techniques. Take care of yourself. You deserve it. Much love. Namaste. Probably not. There's a bunch of armadillos playing in the woods. That's super funny. I don't normally see my armadillos. <laughs>